Sunday here, and uh, and boy, I thought, boy, I need a guitar, but so this is my payday. This is right here, being able to play guitar. And so, how many of you are actually guitar players? Raise your hands. Ah, all right. Let's, uh, I'm sure. How many wish you could play guitar? Raise your hand. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, that, that's the thing. You know, it has to be a gift from God because it just continues on, and you just never get there. You know what I mean? It's an everlasting thing. And it really is music's that way. My brother told me one time, my brother, the piano player, uh, and anyway, I actually play a lot like him, listening to him play all those years. But he tells me one day, and I saw your piano sore today. It was a very nice name. It was a very nice place. But uh, <clears throat> piano players, you know, when they're playing, they just don't have a lick of sense. I mean, they, they really get into another zone. They think they are an orchestra, which I think is actually good. I think it's a great thing. My brother plays, he doesn't think, he's just playing like he's the whole deal, you know? And that's really, the, that's a good thing. It's a lesson that I learned more from him and my uncle who plays keyboard, he plays organ, plays that old gospel kind of, when he plays an organ, you, you can smell the sawdust and see folding chairs in a tent revival or something. That's what it is. That was my uncle. And uh, his, his feet would do, 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 do. And I'm hearing all this stuff. And, uh, and then my aunt also, she had such a, a, a beautiful way of playing. She was just, just a light touch, you know. So I grew up with all that. My dad was a guitar player. But my brother tells me one day, he says, how can you get out in front of all those people with only six strings, six notes, at any given time, six notes, Man, he said, you better pray nothing happens to one of those. He, I said, what do you mean? He says, well, six notes. I mean, I can't imagine playing. When I'm playing the piano, I have 88 keys to my disposal, at my disposal. And I can let them ring out with the, with the you know, pedal, the sustain pedal, and that whole thing. And you only have six. 
He says, back in the 70s, they had these polyphonic keyboards. Remember, they'd cut off after seven notes. Remember those? Well, they were terrible. <laughs> remember those? You weren't old enough. You're not old enough to remember that. But they would actually cut off. And he said, six notes. How do you do that? I said, you only have one of these. And you better pray nothing happens to that. He said, what is that? I said, middle C. And I have another one. And another one. And another one. That I rarely use, but there it is right there. Wow. They're just different, aren't they? Let's go eat. Kind of one of those things, you know. You can't just compare everything. Well, you know, and sometimes you have to forget I only have six notes at any given time. My granddaddy was a choir director at our church, and if the choir wasn't singing, he'd stop them. He would stop the music and he'd say, Come on, choir, who are you singing to today? You singing to the audience? sing this way. And he would literally, he said, put some oomph in it. So I got all that, you know, growing up. That's what I was raised around. That you better put everything all like uh, Tommy told me one time, in fact, Tommy Emanuel, when I first met him, he said, you're a lot like me. It's all or nothing, right? It's all or nothing. I'll never forget that.
I, not one time that I think, I only have six notes here. To be, even after I told that story, I did not think about that. You know, I think about other things like, how great is that song? How huge is that song? It's a song about the greatness of God. So when you're playing something like that, the song's bigger than you are anyway. The song's bigger than the whole. I've played that song terribly. I mean, so bad. I played it, and it still went over. I remember the worst I think I ever played it was the best I ever went over. Isn't that great? <laughs> I don't want to get over spiritual, but I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, how come that happened like that? He says, because my greatness does not depend on yours. I don't mean he just said it to me where I could hear it, but I mean, it was such an indelible thing in my spirit and in my heart. I never forgot it. Never, ever forgot it. So music is huge. I've been playing this guitar for 50 years, when I was 11, I played my first solo. And in fact, it was in my church. 